Welcome back to Rust Electronics. Fresh Wipe is upon us and today I'm going to be going over some new additions to the electronics system and I'm going to be showing you the ultimate security system for your base using these new features. The first new addition is the flashing lights and the siren lights. Now these are pretty simple lights. They, uh, they both emit nice bright colours and they dissipate one watt of power like all other lights, uh, yet they do not have a pass through so they're sometimes a little awkward to use when you have a lot of them. The RAND switch has an approximately 53% chance of outputting power when its set input is activated. Uh, that's about it, really. It's not a very interesting component and uh, I don't see as much use for it as far as rust vanilla goes. Uh, maybe something in the future will pop up, uh, I don't know. The memory cell received a small change, it now has a toggle switch and I reckon this was added to work with the radio frequency transmitter so you can toggle stuff with that. When powered on, the speaker emits a loud beep. This great little device outputs 1 watt per human detected within a 20 meter radius within line of sight. Uh, it could easily be used to make a trap base uh, instead of like a laser trip wire or to see if people are outside your base from inside your base. The radio frequency system is the biggest part of the update by far. It includes the RF broadcaster, the RF receiver, the RF pager and the remote detonator also known as the RF transmitter. When powered on, the RF broadcaster emits a user set frequency that can be received anywhere on the map. The RF receiver is what intercepts these signals and when powered on, listens for a user set frequency just like a radio does. When the frequency that the receiver listens for is detected, the unit will pass through whatever power is going into it. The RF pager sits in your inventory and constantly listens for a user set frequency and will make a loud beep when it finds one. The pager can be stopped by clicking it on your inventory and can only start bleeping again when the frequency transmitter stops the transmission and starts again. It can also be put on silent mode so that other players cannot hear it and also works when put in a box. However, the speaker I showed earlier probably does a better job. The RF transmitter transmits a user set frequency when it is pressed, however the signal stops when you release the button so I recommend using the new memory cell feature to make the switch toggleable. So far everything in the update, apart from the RAND switch, screams security system to me. So let the less enthusiastic yet more practical version of myself show you a simple one I devised. Yeah, with this system, you could probably make a very, very good security system. Uh, this is this is a simple one I have devised. It's it's not that simple, but uh, it's probably one of the easiest and most effective ones I've found. So all I've got here is a door uh, with a door controller on it. And we've got a room, empty room here. Step inside, we've got a, a heartbeat sensor. Then we've got four lights. So we've got two siren lights, two flashers. And we also have two audio alarms down here. So walking on here, uh, this is this is about it. So I'm going to try, I'm going to wire it together, try and explain what it's doing. So what we're going to do is we are going to take the power from here. And we're going to put it into this sensor. So then once the sensor detects someone, it's going to come along here around this wire and it's going to set the memory cell which also needs powering by the way it's going to set that and that will output uh, and then we're going to take the inverted output and we're going to run it down here and to this door controller now this door is always going to be open when you're out uh, this is just for sure, sir. Uh, this door is always going to be open when you're out. So when someone walks in here, this door is going to close behind them, trapping them from leaving. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take the output and put it into these branches. And then we're just going to branch the power along. These are just going to give our outputs because we have quite a few of them. 
So one branch out wants to go to this light. Another one to uh, the, the light next to it. That one. Yeah. This is going to look crazy if you're trapped in here. Then we're going to have two more that go to the speakers. Oh, listen to that. Isn't that lovely? Right, let's um, turn that off. First, we will need a switch for that. So we're going to have a reset. Come around here to a swastika switch. We'll click that. Oh, that needs powering in. Let's drag this over here. There we go. So then when we walk in here, the door shuts behind us. The alarms go off. Now, this is where more of the radio frequency stuff comes in. You'll see in my hotbar, I have a detonator and a pager. Now, the pager is set to 1 megahertz, detonator to 2. And this, uh, this broadcaster is set to 1, just like the pager. This is set to receive 2, just like the transmitter. Now, first, we are going to do the listen. So, we'll take a power in here. And now what this is going to be is just another reset. So we're going to put this into an all switch. Oh, I, I messed up that reset there. She needs to go into this all switch. Okay. And so now when we press that, that will reset it. And that will also do the same. Now, when we when this goes off, we want to be notified if we are out of the building, don't we? So if we put this power in, when we walk into there, our pager will start beeping. You'll see on the hot bar there. And we can stop it. And we can come back. Uh, let's just step outside. We'll have an AK on us. We'll... Uh, Open the door, shoot them all out, close the door behind us, obviously this will happen. Uh, and then, yeah, that, that's about it. Alright, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. If you made it all the way to the end of this video, uh, give this video a like. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. Drop a comment if you want me to do anything in the future uh, with, the, with the new systems in the new update. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next video.